What's the situation? Well, first off, security around here could use some work. Clint? Holy crap. Director Fury! Didn't expect me, huh? Commander Hill filled me in. Sounds like I have you to thank for my escape. Your exploits with Ames Cosmic Cube gave me the opening I needed. But from what I hear in other futures, I wasn't so lucky. Our timelines are fractured, consequences of which we do not fully understand. And I'm afraid our troubles are just beginning. This Kree invasion is still coming for us. We've seen what happens if we fail. But that's not this timeline. You've proven we can change what's to come. AIM will try and stand in our way. To Dr. Rappuccini, a world where we win is just as bad as a world destroyed. But we won't let that stop us, will we? You can count on us. Train up if you need to. Then come see me. And we'll get started. Spider-Man. We read you. Alert us if anything changes. Feels good to be back. Now, first we'll need to get a foothold in the major cities on the eastern seaboard. Right now, AIM is in total control, preventing the resistance from rescuing trapped in humans. Get in and get us the advantage. Let's start by covering some basics. Each Avenger is assigned a hero level from 1 up to level 50. As you earn experience out in the field, we'll be tracking your progress. Once you've earned enough experience, you'll be promoted to the next hero level. You'll also be awarded skill points, which can then be used to unlock new skills and combat capabilities. Every Avenger has a unique set of primary, specialty, and mastery skills. Primary skills focus on core combat and movement, Specialty is where you'll find your heroic abilities, and mastery allows you to further customize your combat style. Some skills unlock new moves, while others open up additional options for existing ones. Once unlocked, skills like these can be changed at any time. Experiment to find what works. New threats may require new strategies. You each also have a power level, a calculation based on the gear and artifacts you have equipped. Higher level gear means a higher overall power level. Your gear and artifacts can also provide stat bonuses, ability perks, and other benefits. When deciding which gear is appropriate for your next mission, make sure you pay attention to the details. Some items have surprising effects. You can take a number of items with you out in the field to swap on demand. Additional gear can be stored in your locker or dismantled for resources. There you have it. These are the tools you'll need to really make an impact out there. But as for how you use them, that's up to you. Surprise me. You're good at that. Fury out. While most missions can be completed solo with companion teammates, your best chance of success will be to team up with other Avengers. The fast way to do this is through Quick Match. This will load you into a randomly selected mission with a strike team of other quick match players. Difficulty will scale, so you'll be able to play with heroes of any power level. Quick match also gives you extra experience and resources while in this mode. If you have a specific mission in mind, enable matchmaking to find a strike team and go in together. Not all missions allow matchmaking, but you can also invite teammates directly. The best way to do so is through the social menu. From there, you can send out invites to your strike team. You can then travel to outposts, quick match, or complete missions together. Remember, teamwork is not weakness. It's your greatest strength. Now that you're ready to take on a mission, your first stop will be your war table. All resistance intel gets uploaded here. It's categorized by region, type, and recommended power level to help you decide which threats to take on first. 
we've identified key regions to focus your efforts. Available missions can be previewed here, showing you where activity is most concentrated and overall difficulty level within that region. Some regions also house outposts, where you can check in with resistance faction members, obtain new objectives, and purchase items from vendors before you head out on your next mission. We've broken missions down by type, each with a unique icon for quick identification. You'll find drop zones, threat sectors, hives, villain sectors, and more, all ranging in duration and activity variety. Your standard mission has a fixed difficulty. Now, these are guidelines to help you, but ultimately, it's your call. You can choose to take on a mission up to 10 notches over your current power level for an extra challenge. As you complete missions and objectives, you'll learn rewards to help you prepare for the battles ahead. You can preview these rewards before embarking on a mission. All of that intel is available on the war table. As you reach higher power levels, you'll be ready to take on our most challenging missions. This is also where you'll learn the most powerful gear. In Mega Hives, you'll have a limited number of chances to complete the mission once inside, so make sure you're prepared before you take off. There are also the Omega level threats, and the ultimate test of your abilities, raids. Teamwork and coordination are vital here, so gather your team and make sure you're ready. Finally, if you prefer to dive into a specific operation or story campaign, you can access those through the operation database. The operations available are reassemble, taking aim, future imperfect, and war for Wakanda. This concludes our briefing for today. Welcome to the Resistance.